Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I Abdul Muhammad bin Adli as a Arabic studies and Islamic civilization in Arabic linguistic course InsyaAllah today I want to share about differences between Arabic and English consonants In English, two, three, four or even more consonants can follow each other to form a cluster unit whereas in many forms of Arabic there are no sequences of three of or more consonants. The following table summarizes English and Arabic consonant cluster or consonant cluster is a group of consonants come together without a vowel sound between them, such as fin, kin and steam. In English, two and three four or even more consonants can follow each other to form consonant sequences or clusters. As seen in this table, Arabic has no sequence of more than two consonants which occur in medial and final positions but not in an initial position. English, on the other hand, has sequences of two or even more consonant clusters in all three positions. In connected speech, the sequence may be even longer, where one word may end with a consonant sequence and the next word with another. As a result, we can have sequences like banks closed. This causes problems to Arab learners who often follow Arabic patterns of speech and add a vowel, which is called an in intrusive vowel to break the consonant cluster so that's all from me izan hadha faqat minni shukran ala husni istimaikum assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh